So why don't we build our own 3D camera? Since there are no available 3D cameras that are 1080p, uh, capable of underwater use, uh, capable of being very small and doing uh, still photos as well as videos, uh, I chose the Swan camera because it has a display in the back that you can actually see what you're pointing at if you choose to have that display hooked up to the camera. So it's uh, real convenient. So I bought two of these cameras, mounted them on a uh, aluminum bar, and uh, here's what I found when I went to use this camera. Um, I found that uh, one camera is pointing up in the air just slightly more than the other camera. So uh, I found that uh, after I calibrated the cameras, I had a much better quality 3D picture. So let me show you how I did it. The first thing I did to calibrate the camera was to set both cameras out on my driveway looking at a straight horizontal line. I used my garage door as an example of the straight horizontal line. Now I've left the how to calibrate your 3D camera and the underline there so that you can see as you move the um, well I'm, I'm oscillating between the left picture and the right picture left picture and the right picture and you can see that one camera is pointing up in the air substantially more than the other camera this is what we need to fix um, before we can move on to do 3d photography so once I found out that the left camera needed to be pointed up in the air more I took some pieces of electrical tape and I stuck it under the front of the camera that moved the front of the camera up a slight amount. I ended up using five pieces of electrical tape and uh, here's the result that I got after inserting the electrical tape underneath the front of the camera. If you now go and search for fly me airplane or 3D SBS on uh, YouTube you'll find uh, several of the videos that I've taken with this camera setup uh, stills and full speed uh, 720p videos. Um, I have not put 1080p videos on YouTube, just 720s, even though I am capable of capturing 1080p underwater or above water. So go out and give it a shot. It's a very easy thing to do. Uh, use any available cameras that you have and uh, have fun shooting 3D. Thanks.